Welcome back guys to another episode of my Farming Simulator 17 series. This is actually a new series and um, I think I'm going to call it Big Farm, Big Equipment. So um, here's a little introduction from the people who actually own this farm in real life. Hi, this is Nick Welker speaking. I just want to say welcome to my family farm and I hope you all have a great time farming. Yeah, so these people own this giant farm, and um, they are the Welkers, and they are great people. They have a YouTube channel. Um, you can go check it out. It is actually Welker Farms. That's what it's called. Um, so without anything else to do, we should start on harvesting. But first, let's show you our equipment. So here we have the Challenger MT700E, along with the, I think it's a Salford 6-meter um, plow. Not really sure about that. Um, in here, these, they actually open. This is the horse, um, okay, this is the horse, uh, sprayer, um, but in real life, the Welkers call it the, um, leg arms. No, they call it the Apache. Leg arms is a worker here. And here is the Welker Farm Big Brute. Now, this is a sprayer that they made themselves. There's an actual video of it of them making you guys should go check it out it's really amazing what they did okay so um, let's close this up here if i can okay so um so we have a few things introduced over here we have um a case um optimum optimum cvx with um rear tire weights and is accompanied by the Amazon Condor 1500, 15,000. Um, so, big brute. Okay, here we have the Lizard SX-210 Twin Star with a Flegel, Flegel uh, grain bin. Here we have a um, New Holland um, T7 Heavy Duty with real uh, dual rear wheel tires, and we have another Amazon Condor 15,000. Here we have a Fint, a Fint 700 Vario with um, rear dual wheels, and is accompanied by the Carrel, Carrel um, sprayer. Here we have um, a Case um, Axle Flow 7. 130 uh they give this to you in the beginning with a decent size header here they also give you a lizard sx 10 210 um, twin star with a flegal bucket i mean loader and then here we have a case um 1455 xl with a front loader attachment and a new holland roll belt 150 um, we also have the New Holland CR 10.90 uh, with a uh, not the with a nice uh, corn header on the front. And I'm actually going to get this man started. That's going. Uh, we also have the Case Quad Track um, maxed out engine uh, with a load of horsepower along with an Amazon Condor 15,000. So I'm actually going to move this out of the way of the harvester. I need to learn how to, I need to get to learn how to use these because this one's just a little bit confusing for me. I'm used to the smaller tractors. Out of the way, we will move over to the Case Magnum CV 
axe um, rear wheel dual with a horse um, it says right there Miesto 12.75 SW and then we have the um, Valtra S series blue um, and it is dually all the way and it has a nice 10 something meter uh, cultivator. So we're going to, I think that's it. That's all we got now. What's it now? We've already been through that. Um, got that. Yeah, I've been through that. Oh, and we also have a lizard dually pickup. Um, here we have the Challenger MT700E with the 12 meter cultivator. Um, also, we need to start cultivating this field because we don't have a beet harvester. Alright, so I'll get this guy started and we'll switch over to... the other harvester and the other harvester field. Alright. Alright, so we also have a JCB 260. And sorry if you guys heard um, talking in the background. My parents walked into the room for no apparent reason. Uh, I guess they did not know I was filming, sadly. Alright, now we should start on getting this field plowed, and I'm thinking on putting canola in this field. So, let's get her attached. Let's hope this has enough horsepower. I'm actually going to look. This is case, case optimum. I haven't looked about, at it yet. Um, case optimum, right here. I honestly could just go... I could go here, but I made it the hard way. Okay, let's look at the tractor's case optimum. Is this it? No, that's the magnum. Optimum is here. So the case optimum has 313 horsepower, and this, I don't think it has enough horsepower to run this, actually, sadly. We might have to switch with the Vultra if it has enough. Where is it? Screw it, I'll just go here. So this needs 270. So let's check our Vultra. Okay, Vultra has 350 horsepower. Let's switch it out with the case. First of all, we should drop that. And then we'll go and put this back in the shed. Before we even start cultivating this field, guys, we need to... How much horsepower does that have? Because I might be able to... How much horsepower does this horse need? Sorry if I pronounce anything wrong. Okay. 180 horsepower, and this probably has more than enough. Like, way more than enough. I actually got this tractor but I I got this tractor but I took the wheel the things off okay so what I'm going to do is I'm no don't hop in the Vultra please okay so I'm going to un unattach that pull this out I unattached oh I pre unattached it for the video but then I just reattached it oh my goodness my driving is horrible guys I'm so sorry. I want to make this realistic, but, I mean, I can only do what I can do when my driving is bad. So let's just reverse her a little bit. I think we have room. 
I don't want to hit the JCB back there. Close this up, please, and thank you. Okay, let's go attach us to the <coughs> Amazon. 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 I don't know what you guys call it or what it's supposed to be called. But I feel like I should get this field plowed first. I think it gives better yield um, when it plows first and it grows faster too. Okay. I dislike the track tractors. I just think since I'm not good with them, the steering is so hard to use since this turning is just so like turn on the dime. You literally probably could turn on the dime with these. Okay, I have to move this case out of the way. I'll go back to the challenger. We're out. Okay, so it looks like it's matching up with something here. Way too far. Oh, I hate the two piece. Why? Doing donuts in my own. Don't wait. Where did my harvester go? Oh gosh, I'm about to check up. Okay, well this is doing perfectly fine. Where's my? Okay, the harvester just doubled back on itself. out off camera like turn the camera off so you only gotta look at this horrible mess I created uh, I was watching my last video and I saw that the um, audio was horrible no that's what I have to do oh man that was that wide we're missing some, it's okay. Okay, so, uh, the audio, the audio was really bad on the last episode, I just wanted to apologize for that. Um, let's hop in the semi, catch a green trailer to the left. With such big fields, it's very difficult. I'm probably just going to be running back and forth to unload these guys. It, unless, like, I'm following them 24-7. But, I don't know, that's kind of difficult if you ask me. It's doing decent though. Okay, well, 
it looks like we're gonna have to adjust semi. It wasn't full, but it's okay. This took me a while to um make, so if you guys don't mind, please drop a like. It really, I really appreciate it, cause I know it might not sound like a lot saying that making a video is pretty hard work, but it is like having to set everything up just to make it look good and nice and do everything right. So uh, a like really does a lot to me. So. Thank you guys for the one down there. Alright, so we're going to type in. Alright. Now he's going. I might... Um... I'd usually follow him, but since it's not, it don't work too good like that. It's kind of hard. Um, now what to do? I don't have a plow down here, so I'm just going to get this guy started on the field with this. I actually need to fill it up, though. Hope this new Holland has enough horsepower. Yeah, switch it to canola. Okay, so that's going to fill up, and it's going to be probably about two thousand, three thousand dollars. Um, I don't know how well you guys can hear me um, just then, so I'm going to kind of make it to where you can. This takes a lot. 2,000. 2,000. I think it fills up to like 5,000 or more. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's 5,000, guys. Okay, and then there's fertilizer. So it's going to fertilize it. Um, this takes. So this one won't take a lot. Uh, wait for this guy. I think it's two thousand, three thousand two. Over the field, I'll be able to get it at least as close to dead on as I can. Should be good. It's about perfect if I want to. That's all right. Then. So, um, we have a little spread down here. Plow is doing great. 
break. This cultivator, I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm going to need it for anything besides the corn. Oh, speaking of corn, I actually need to get this ultra out of here so that I can, um, no, we're not going back down. Yeah, but wait a minute, no it's not actually. Okay, let's see if I can pull out of here without hitting the other track. There we go. And then I hit the C tank. <laughs> that is fun. So I might have to run around the field just a few times. Like, oh my gosh, I'm destroying. Right there. Once we get enough money, I'm going to have to buy another harvester. But all I'm going to do is run around this part of the field a few times until it's up. this part's gone. And then I'll. Set it back to the worker. Since it completely missed this part. Okay, so I'm just going to set this guy down here, switch to the harvester, harvester, harvester. Alright, so that cliff ended, so I know that we're kind of running out of time. So I'm going to unhire this worker. Um, going to pull this. Excuse me. Going to pull this header up. Um, and we're going to do a few laps around this because I mean I need to get this. Cause I mean they're in the middle of the field. Like they run through the middle of the field. I think we're doing good first day on. It's already got point four hours on. I think I have this on real time also. I think I just need to get this piece cleared out so that the head of the harvester can just keep on going through here. The head is attached to the harvester, of course. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to unload here so that I have enough. Oh gosh. I'm impaling my Okay. No, I doubt. I need to get a forge harvester, but I don't know where I can like do silence. Because I mean I've looked around here and I don't know where I could do it. Of course I'm going to do some off camera work because this place is just so big it would be hard not to 
do off camera work. So I think I'm going to end the episode here because I don't know how much time we have left and I don't know how much time I've used. So, yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next episode of my big farm, big machine.